Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lash Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. Uh, so, as promised, uh, this is the update video on the dancing bone cactus that I had recently repotted because uh, it was completely root bound in the earlier pot. Uh, if you have not watched that video, I'll put that video link in the description below. You can check it out. So, this is how the plant looks right now. Now, it's kept an indirect bright light because if you remember, uh, too much of sun had turned the leaves red in color like these because it was getting stressed because of too much of light. It prefers indirect but bright light. So, now this is all the new growth that you can see. It looks absolutely beautiful. So, these are how the new growth tends to look like. So, it is completely acclimated in its new soil. I just did the watering yesterday and uh, you can see those beautiful uh, new leaves at the tips uh, which are light green in color so this is how it starts to grow now if you want you can always propagate these wire cuttings as well an example i'll give you a quick example as well so if you want to do any kind of cutting you can just go and let's say that if i want to cut it over here you can see this part you can cut any part of the uh, cactus it's not a big deal but if you cut off any part and then you will have to plant it like over here i'll cut this off like this and now this is going to be a new plant that we can propagate so you can see very very simple process to propagate this uh, dancing bone cactus uh, it's very easy. You can let this callus for a day or so. It will hardly take a day for it to callus and then you can put it into the soil. So this is how the new growth looks like. So I wanted to show you how to propagate this as well. So it's pretty simple. You can see a lot of new growth post uh, repotting it. It was uh, struggling in its old pot and uh, now you can see a lot of new growth and this is how you can propagate them. You can cut any part of uh, the cactus and then just put it into the soil and then it will start to grow. So this is all of the new growth on the tips and the soil that i have also used for this is a very loose and porous gritty soil which tends to drain out quickly so they require a loose porous and well draining soil uh, you need to maintain a very slight amount of moisture in the soil that's why i'm using a plastic uh, pot so that it can maintain a slight moisture do not keep them underwater for a very long time if they get underwatered, you will start seeing a lot of wrinkles on their stems or on their leaves. You will start noticing a lot of wrinkles, which means that they are getting dehydrated. So it's a very pretty, uh, easy to grow cactus, uh, not like a regular traditional cactus, which has a lot of thorns. This is a thornless cactus and it's a very amazing cactus to grow. You can grow it in indirect light as well. So basically, if you have a windowsill wherein there is a good amount of bright light, you can keep this plant over there and it starts to trail as well as and when it starts to grow, the plant will start to trail. So it looks absolutely beautiful and hanging planters as well. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.